Hello everyone, welcome to another Katatus video and today we're going to be learning all about combo boxes or how to customize them. So let's go ahead and create a UMG, uh, doesn't really matter what it's called, uh, as this is just an example. So let, let's pretty this up a bit, so let's have a border and then let's have a vertical box, pop this in. The reason I'm using a border is because a border is resolution agnostic, so I don't have to perfectly place things and hope that if it gets scaled down too much, it still works. Borders, they're, they're flexible. They, they know what you want and they will deliver. So in this vertical box, let's say it's padding to 50 everywhere, because why not? And then let's have a combo box string. Just pop that in there. And let's change this border's color to something a bit more recognizable. Let's go for purple. There we go. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do quickly is just uh, have it on a begin play just so we can see what we're doing. So that's just literally a create widget add to viewport just to show you how we can customize this. So there we go. What we're also going to have to do for this example is show the uh, mouse control mouse cursor sorry via get player controller getting a bit too ahead of myself there just so we can see you know what's going on and what needs to be done and all that jazz so as you can see here we've got our drop down box there's obviously nothing in it so let's go ahead and add something really quickly let's say click this add three options uh, chickens cows and cats Excellent, and the selected option, let's say it's cats. Oh, let's shout it apparently. So, cats, awesome. So, now when we do it, we can select chickens, cows, or cats. It might be really small on your screen, that's something we'll be fixing with this customization. So, in normal UMG, there's only uh, so much you were well, in the default combo box, should I rather say, there's only so much you can do uh, in regards to the style. Uh, you can only set the font. Uh, you can only set the font size, I believe. Not even the font size. Yeah. Um, you can't even set the font size. So what we're going to go do is create our own UMG for it to display for these buttons. So let's just go ahead and create another UMG. And this time we'll call this one 2. And again, we're going to set it as a border as the main. Uh, we're going to set the background color to black like so and then we're going to just for sanity's sake add a button first so add a button here so it selects everything and then set the button's background color to invisible so we can't see it and then finally pop a scale box on there and pop some text just so it looks nice no matter what the resolution so let's set the font size to 45 and roboto light there we go Okay, so now we need to do a few extra things, but for now We'll just do the very basics to get it working before adding to it. So variables. We're gonna set this as text Go ahead and save editable and expose on spawn. You'll see why in just a moment and Then go back to your text box where it says bind in content Just select that new text variable you made you might need to compile first and so then compile and save head back into your combo box make sure it's clicked scroll down to events and on generate widget so you're going to head click widget and so when this widget is generated you're going to create widget, and then just find that little uh, box we made Co connect these two up so the text thing that applied because we did expose on spawn make sure that's connected to item and then you can just go ahead and for now put it in the return node so when we check it you'll see now it's much more viewable but you can't click the buttons but straight away this is already a benefit over what we had before so now we're going to get a little bit fancy so what we're going to do is add an event is a little bit of a bit add an event dispatcher called pressed like so and then we're going to have a string output for that it doesn't matter what we call it so when click this button and then on pressed you're going to just call that event dispatcher 
and then very simply connect that text variable that we set into there very nice so as you might have guessed by now uh, because this is all a function essentially you can't have an assign for the event dispatcher so you can't tell it you know hey i've been pressed but what we can do is go into the event graph and then what we're going to do is add a custom event uh, this is in the whole drop down uh, event graph not the uh, the button so in this event graph uh, it's just going to be called custom event zero it's going to have an input of our widget that that's the drop down entries so again it doesn't matter what it's called and then what all we're going to do from here is drag out from this pin type assign and select assign pressed excellent so we're almost done so what we're going to do now now that there's a, a pressed event so this will fire once this says hey you know i've been pressed so then this will fire or this bit here so what we're going to do is get the combo box string very simply type in set and go for set selected option and this part's self-explanatory just select hook them both up so option to the oppressed output and then obviously to the execution line and then go back into the function and very simply just type in the name of your custom event here which is custom event zero so custom event zero hook it up here and add that one so new parameter to the return value of the create widget and then to the return node compile and save and then now you'll notice you can go ahead and click them excellent so now you've got your own custom combo box with your any font you want to use and any background any any or anything anything you want but there's one last thing we could do just to make it look a little bit nicer so what we're going to do is go ahead and click the border in our button and select is variable and then we're going to go to the click the button scroll down to hovered and then again to release unhovered so there we go and then what we're going to do is attach a do once to each of these so do once like so do once and do once and then what we're going to do is grab the border and then set brush color so what we want to do is if it's unhovered it's going to be black for this and if it is hovered it's going to go let's say blue why not if if you think that's blue that's fine i think it's blue so then very simply just after that that goes to reset and that goes to reset so we're doing once so let's say you're hovering so has it uh, they're hovering has this already been done uh no it hasn't okay so do this once set it to blue and then make sure unhovered can be fired again and then when unhovered's pressed can we do this yes we can set it to black and then tell them that they can hover again not just nice and simple so now when we do it we can hit the drop down and there you go cats cows and chickens brilliant so that was a just a quick in-depth look into how to change your combo boxes so you can make your own fonts and all that and i hope to see you again in a future video thank you for watching